Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm outside of this place. Um, I'm actually in Reykjavik in Iceland and yeah I'm moving back into uni and I'm really excited so basically join me on this trip as I travel back from Iceland. I was basically cycling around it basically gonna jump on a plane tomorrow, as long as the day before, and yeah, basically head from here, well, here, um, all the way back to the UK and back to Durham, um, which I'm very excited for. I'm moving into a new place this year, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, join me as we, we move back in. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone's... There is a plane. Um, anyway, I thought I'd like just sit down and basically tell you why I'm back so early because um, it's currently the beginning of September and Durham terms start in October. So this year I'm going to be doing Frepping, also known as Freshers Repping, um, which I'm really excited for. Have a... So that still doesn't start for another couple of weeks anyway. So the reason I'm back early is basically to just get ready for uni, um, get myself sorted out, and also like I've moved into a new place here. Um, I want to get some house plants because I haven't had them basically since first year, and I really, really like them, and I think they really make a room just look way better. The rest of this video is basically going to be um, me getting ready for uni and also chuck in a room tour at the end once I've got a couple of house plants. Also, we'll probably go to the pub because that is 100% preparing for uni. Um, Got to get the pints back in. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm in the bathroom now and sorry about the noise in here, it's awful. Extractor fan is on. Um, but yeah, let's say goodbye to this, this beard, it's, it's gonna go. Three, two, one, and boom, just like that. I know I'm clean shaven, I know I look like a fetus, um, but yeah, I probably look a bit more, I don't know, I think it looks alright. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments down below if you prefer me with a beard or clean shaven. Um, I'm unsure, I like both, but yeah. Now the only issue with being clean shaven now is that I've got to maintain it because otherwise it just grows back out. Although saying that, I do actually like a few days growth, just because I don't look like a child. I want to go outside, it's a nice day. I'm gonna go outside. I'll catch you in a bit. I'm off to the pub to meet one of my friends and just walking along here just reminds me how much I love Durham. Like, that view is always incredible. I love it. But this path has so much water on it. Um, yeah, no, the view of that cathedral is stunning. It's I love Durham, it's so nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go out to the pub because drinking matters and drinking is a official uni thing to do, yeah? So I need to get my practice in, you know. Um, so yeah, let's go do that. Just so lovely, like, you cannot get a better day than this, like, what? So I, I'm, I'm drinking with Tom and some archaeology peoples. Um, we have no cash left in this one. Hello, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. It may look like it's the evening, but trust me, my room gets no light, so I have to have my lamp on. Um, but anyway, today I've actually been doing kind of productive stuff. This morning I had a session on active bystander training, which is basically to be a FREP, you need to have that training. Um, so I was on a Zoom call for that, and we had a productive session, talking, discussing things, as well as getting the necessary training we need to be an active bystander. Um, so that was pretty good. And now I'm also doing a session on mental health first aid, the basics, um, which I need to have to run consent workshops. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now, um, and I've, I'm about halfway through it. Hopefully I'll be better prepared to have conversations with people after doing this training. Um, so that's the aim anyway. But anyway, I'm going to actually get to the library after I finish this, 
um, to get started on my dissertation because on my days um, I'm like three months behind. <laughs> also, I haven't been able to talk to my DIS supervisor, which is annoying. It takes like three months for them to reply, which isn't good either. I emailed them in March and they replied in like July. No, they replied in June. I give them credit for that. So I need to sort that out, um, but I'm gonna change topic and I have no idea what topic I'm gonna choose. So my aim is go to the library and basically sort my life out of what I am doing because I have no idea. And then thirdly, I've also been applying to some master's courses, which is kind of interesting and exciting, yet really fucking nerve-wracking at the same time. Um, I'm not gonna say where I'm applying yet or anything like that, but I've applied to two so far. Well, I haven't applied, but I'm, I've started the application process, basically. Um, so I had to get my transcript, so I've actually received that today, because I applied, well, started the application process yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's kind of exciting. Um, so I need to do some stuff for that. And like, sometimes you have to like submit what kind of research you want to do. And I don't even know what I'm doing for my DIS. How am I going to know what I'm going to do for a master's course? Like. That was so unsuccessful. I couldn't find any of the books I was looking for, um, which is very annoying, but we move. Um, it's fine, I did a bit of research. I struggled. Coming up with ideas for a dissertation is so much harder than I thought it would be, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully we'll get there. I think I came up with a decent idea at the end. I don't know how much work it's gonna be. I don't know how feasible it is, um, but we'll definitely give it a try, potentially. I'll probably hate the idea in like, a week out of. Just finished in the garden centre. I think it's a pretty successful trip. Got four plants. I think two are like small hanging ones that should eventually grow out. Um, hopefully they do. And then succulent and a cactus, which is quite nice. But anyway, go head back now. Um, quite a long walk actually. It's like 25 minutes, if not more. Um, but yeah, good trip. See ya. Okay, so because I've moved into a new place, I thought I'd give you a quick little room tour now that I've been to the garden centre and got a few plants. So yeah, um, basically this is my room for third year, which is kind of exciting. So basically my door is here and then we got my desk, which goes here, which I really like. It's kind of like really hard, like wood. Um, and then we got my monitor there. I bought this little cactus today, which I really like. I've got these um, little York gin placemats, which I think are very cute. Got my microphone, got some pens. Got a new plant there as well, which I think is very cute. And then got this lamp that I got gifted from BenQ a while ago, which I really like. And then my laptop, along with a mouse. Got my desk chair, which is kind of cute. Then we got my wardrobe there, the lights. I got a few clothes on the floor and some trainers. 
um, washing basket. Then we got where the magic happens, the bed. Lovely stuff. Um, and yeah, it's kind of my room. Um, we've got here just like my books, which basically I've read most of these books. There's still a few I haven't read. I haven't read this Anglo Saxon book yet. I also need to read The Midnight Library. And then on top is Robinson Crusoe, which I also want to read. Currently reading this book here. It's called The White Ship. Really good book. And then, yeah, we just got this section here, which, yeah, basically just. Yeah, not a lot there. Um, yeah, it's kind of like my bedside table. And then like got drawers there. Oh yeah, I've also got this here, which is just a mess. But anyway, that's basically my room for this year. I don't want to be too long because I know that room tours can get a bit like long and drawn out. I hope you've enjoyed this video of me kind of moving back to uni and basically getting started for my third and final year, which is super exciting. Leave a like if you have enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.